right, we have uh, educational tours. Yes, first we read. have two. They're both first reads. Both are cost neutral to the district. The first one is uh, the football trip. It begins on page 221 of board book. This is their third year going on the trip, but they've changed the location uh, this year. It'll be July 21st through the 23rd. The uh, cost is $183 per student, which includes transportation, and this will be offset by fundraising efforts, um, and you can see the cost breakdown on uh, the following page. Any questions um, on that, Kirsten? No. Um, the second uh, trip that was requested was Girls Cross Country to go to Northern Illinois University on August 16th and 17th. Um, the cost per student is originally $85 uh, per student and will be offset by some money in their activity account that they've previously fundraised as well as some additional fundraising. Um, and there was a question submitted uh, in regards to this. They have two male coaches and um, that will be chaperoning. We hope to have a female parent chaperone as well. Um, we haven't required this in, a, in the past, but it certainly is our preference uh, whenever possible. Well, let me ask it a different way. Do we allow our teens to go where if it's all females, which is male, and vice versa? I don't know that we have any all male, which is females, but I mean, would we let the girls yeah. cross? Do you think that's a good idea? No, that's why I'm saying we would prefer to have a, a female chaperone, but we haven't required that's my that question. a female chaperone attends with Should them. we require it instead of making the preference? I, I think it's a bad idea in this day and age that we send two male uh, chaperones with 40 females to a, away for a weekend or whatever it is. I, I just I, think that's an awful I bad absolutely idea. agree. Yeah, I have to say I agree as well. I mean, I, I don't think it should be a preference. I should think mm -hmm. if they can't get a female chaperone, I don't think we should approve this. Or we pay for supervision for a female staff member to attend. Well, however okay. you do it. Okay. Yeah. So we could have a parent uh, as a chaperone? Or right. Yes, and that is like their, that's what they're working on. That's what they're working on. There should be some parents that right. would. Yeah. Again, that's fine if there's a parent and it's a female, but I just don't think we should allow no, it otherwise. Right. Okay. It's reasonable. That Kristen sense and I to talked you? about this today. We both, I, we both agree with that. That's why they're working on okay. a female chaperone. Mm -hmm. it, the only other time that this would come up is if they like qualified for state. Right. Right. And Same if that's female. the case, we'd have to secure a female trend. You know. So if there was an issue in the hotel or something like that. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. That was it. Resolve Board of Education Township High School District 2. Are we gonna re that was the first reading, so if you wanted to work on securing a female, yeah, and you I still want to approve yeah, it, or you want to give it some time? Do it first. Just let's uh, let's set. Uh, let's set. I was going to add. Is there any fundraising that needs to be added? They have a female. I c yeah, I can't approve it. Um, there's that. No. Um, I mean, I. We don't, it doesn't need to be approved tonight, but it would be helpful to approve it, ensuring that a female chaperone is going, yeah, because sometimes that doesn't happen until July, where we actually can secure, like it might not happen this early that we can secure 100% the chaperone, but if it's a qualifier, we will make sure that happens before they what, go. What do you need to pull this off? What I don't want to have happen is the board approve it, and then all of a sudden we kids lose all their money because then the school district may... Right. Well, we'll approve the coaches are going to have to re, you know we're going to have to go out of their activity account. So as long as they understand, there's no. If camp. the expectation is to have a female chaperone, I can guarantee we will have a female chaperone by the time they go on the trip. Okay. But it would be helpful if Does not this meeting, but for April to have the trip approved so they can plan accordingly and right. race. But it does it, it, that's not pressing that you need to approve today. Correct. If April 9th it's approved, that still pl applies. Correct. No. Enough time mm -hmm. for you? Mm -hmm. Or we could approve it with the qualification yeah. that it's not mm -hmm. only approved if there's a female chaperone. We can put it right in the resolution. Where's the rest of the board feel comfortable with? These are well, both first reads, right? They are first reads. That's why they're we'll first the plan. So this is, does, yeah. this open up the, uh, does this open up a bigger it? question that we should have a policy yeah. that says... And that way, this this yes. it would not be a qualifier just on this particular right. trip, but it'd be the overall policy of the. So, do we need to incorporate a policy into the idea. school? Okay. All 
I think we have a press pile, press packet 100 just was sent out this week, so the press we can. So why don't we incorporate it there, and that way this right. this particular trip yeah. doesn't get qualified out. You know, right. it's an issue. It's part it's of future the, trips. Yeah, yeah, and all future trips are recovered. And all. So West <laughs> was under the West stated about staying sticking to the plan and this being a first read. <laughs> uh, Laura. That's fine. We can stick to the plan if you're good with that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. okay. So you need That's action by true. April 9th. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you'll, this way, if the no, coaches feel this could be an issue, the, the they may pull it, or they'll say yes, they'll work on it, right? Stick with the it point. gives you some time to talk with them for them. <laughs> sure. Okay. All right. 